For the first time since Bitcoin broke below this very critical level of support, we are right now seeing a major retest happening. And on today's update video, I'm going to be talking about this, the next targets I have in mind for Bitcoin, the massive Bitcoin CME gap, which we're currently creating, the downtrend that currently still is continuing, and what the criteria is for this downtrend to be breaking, many other charts that are telling us something about that potentially the Bitcoin bottom is already in and many many more important things will be getting discussed on today's update video including the fact that we need to discuss this fractal that currently is playing out and that is showing us that, that we're currently at the last week of the downward sloping consolidation before we see another move towards the upside so i will be talking about this and many more other charts there so can we once again slap on that like button back above 1000 likes will be highly appreciated and with that being said let me jump straight away in towards the content so today there's not a lot of new stuff happening compared to yesterday so this video will be definitely a little bit shorter than usual but currently we're creating a new cme gap trading around 54,000 us dollars and yes we're expecting that over the course of the weekend bitcoin is going to be hovering around this price where we're going to be moving significantly above it we're most likely going to come back on the monday and also vice versa if we're going to come down significantly we're also most likely moving back on the monday just like we can see on the previous occasions always bitcoin tends to be coming back towards the price at the end of the weekend and this is for like 90 percent of the cases so that will be also my base case scenario for this week again then of course we're still looking at a massive downtrend here on the one hour time frame on bitcoin where we're creating exponential lower lows exponential lower highs and basically the criteria for me to say okay this downward sloping trend is now over is whenever bitcoin does break above this previous high in the market right here which is clearly laying around fifty-seven thousand us dollars so if bitcoin can be breaking above this orange box i'm currently drawing right here i believe then at that point okay we're going to be seeing the confirmation of the downward sloping trend break and if we break above that box right there then we're most likely going to be seeing a big move towards the upside so as long as we're not breaking above that box i believe and i will be remaining to say that we are still clearly trading in a massive downtrend and what is very important is that i discussed this very important level of support for a very long time and it said to everyone out there if we break below this support level and see a rejection of it it actually might not be a bad opportunity to actually open up a short position and currently we're also creating a bear flag and we are seeing a retest of this very important level of support that right now flipped into resistance and realistically speaking what my targets were at that point are currently still the same my realistic price targets for bitcoin if i'm looking at the 4 early chart right now here is just another move down here towards 50,000 US dollars and that would be ultimately the region where i want to be opening up my next multi-million dollar bitcoin trade here so if bitcoin is going to come down towards this region i'm going to be opening up a multi-million dollar bitcoin long position if we are going to be bouncing towards the upside take out the previous high I'm going to be passing on this opportunity and wait a little bit before the market is going to be settling and see what is going to be happening next here. But of course, if we break above this resistance right here over the course of the weekend, it most likely is still going to be a fake out. But if we break above this level, confirm it for the Monday as well, and then break also above the previous high in the market, that would definitely confirm something of a bigger trend reversal. And I mean, if we're looking at the downward sloping trend here on the daily time frame, it could very well be here since on the daily time frame, every single time once we do retest this level on the downward, uh, lower side we tend to be bouncing from it so so far it is actually still looking quite good here on the daily time frame we already have been confirming a lower low on the daily candle so we're already have been setting in the lower low so it wouldn't be necessarily very weird to be seeing the market already bouncing back up but also the criteria for the market to be bouncing back up here is a little bit of a milder stock market and the stock market is also significantly still coming down here like we can see we're actually looking to create somewhat of a double top here on the top side. And right now, with some uncertainty from the macro environment econ economy, we could be potentially heading much, much deeper on the S&P 500. And that could potentially be catastrophic for the Bitcoin price action because the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ always directs Bitcoin with it. And if they're going to be crashing, Bitcoin is most likely going to be following. And currently, what we can see here is that Bitcoin is also broken below the most important level of support of this 2024 here. Since, since the beginning of the year we basically traded above this level and every single time once we did retest at this exact level right here we've seen some major major support getting found and currently we broke below it so yeah this is actually quite worrisome and since we broke below it there's of course going to be a chance of a major major continuation towards the downside and if we're then looking at the downward sloping side there are some big levels i'm currently aiming for and that is of course like i said many times before here the low of this previous range here 
a witch is laying around fifty thousand US dollars, guys. If we come back to that price here, I believe it's going to be a very great opportunity to actually accumulate Bitcoin trades. So that is also personally what I will be doing if we come down towards that level. But of course, I'm not going to be entering at once, but also at this level right here, the previous low in the market, but also that previous weak high, which is laying around forty eight thousand US dollars. So those are the two major levels that are currently laying below us. I will be making them orange to give a little bit of a clearer view, but those are the two big levels on the lower side where I want to be scaling in towards my multi-million dollar Bitcoin trade here. So yeah, on the eight hour time frame, we also already have seen the break of structure on the spot Bitcoin ETF. Yesterday, we saw massive outflows again here over 170 million US dollars. And yes, the market is still in extreme fear. And one of the things that is actually still making me very exciting here, guys, is my experience from the previous bull runs and the fact that we are currently still in the bull run and the funding rates are extremely negative. Everyone is bearish. Everyone is shorting Bitcoin. And the most important one, Binance, is also negative on funding. So this is very great here because historically speaking, whenever this happens, we tend to see a bottom formation getting formed and we tend to see explosive moves towards the upside come afterwards. So yeah, the funding have been negative for a very long time and that ultimately is going to be causing a major short squeeze here. And currently already, if we're looking at the liquidation heat map, there are billions worth of Bitcoin short liquidations piling up around 70,000 US dollars. So that is also currently the target I will be looking at. And and yeah, for me to scale in towards my trade, I need Bitcoin to come down a little bit lower. And if you want to be joining me with my trade, guys, don't forget to go to the highest link in the description of today's video. Because if you go to that page, you will come here and you can actually claim a free $500 airdrop trade here on Bybit. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video. It is extremely, extremely valuable. And then quickly talking about the fractal, if we're looking currently at the weekly time frame, 25 weeks in of consolidation and last time we had this was back in 2019 here and in 2019 first we saw also a major rally towards the upside and then 25 weeks of consolidation and that is currently also what we're seeing here and after that we actually formed a bottom and bitcoin went towards the upside of course after that we had a pandemic we had a uh, macroeconomic shock in the market maybe we're going to get something similar this time right we're not quite sure yet but if there's going to be any macroeconomic shock in the market we're most likely going to be seeing a flash crash with a very strong recovery. So if that were to be happening, it would be a major opportunity. But what I want to be saying with this here is that actually this downtrend lasted for exactly 175 days so why wouldn't this downtrend also only last for 175 days here so i really believe we're at the end stage of this consolidation phase and yeah we are currently still trading in a major downtrend and as soon as bitcoin does flip the lower low structure and the lower high structure and if potentially this is the low in the market we bounce back towards the upside we're clearly not creating a more exponential low in the market which is quite bullish in my uh, my opinion but of course the most important thing is is that we break above that previous high here but as soon as that is going to be happening guys we're going to be seeing fireworks because then most likely bitcoin is going to be running up towards the upside in a very but very fast pace here so make sure to be prepared for that here but anyways what we're currently still seeing here is that we're creating a massive cup and handle pattern in an approximately 10 days from now on we're going to get the first rate cuts and yes after that the rate cuts are going to only become more and more aggressive so that is ultimately a very good thing for the market and the last Bitcoin bull market basically started whenever the Federal Reserve started to be cutting its rates very aggressively. And yes, that is ultimately also a very good thing for the markets. And of course, we know that in exactly 58 days from now on, we're going to get the US elections, which is by far one of the most bullish catalysts in the market, because every single time, once we do have a US election, it is sending Bitcoin higher. So yeah, this was it for me in today's of the video. There's not a lot of new stuff happening. So that is why I discussed the most important points on today's of the video. If you learned something from it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, snap the like button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow back on another video. Peace out. Goodbye.